Hi, Coco. Hi, Coco. Yeah, it's rather windy out there. See the spray going off the rocks. Okay, folks, Cape St. James. It's October the 26th, Saturday. Got a fairly good storm going out there. Winds gusting up towards 70 knots at the moment. And there we can see the anometer tower spinning away like mad. Zoom in on that here. This tower is kind of on its last legs. There's not too much holding it together anymore. There's our wind equipment right at the top. And now we have the light beacon spinning around. Probably going to burn out because of all the vibration. You can see the uh, ladder swaying quite a bit in the wind. Anyway, it's Saturday, October 26th, and I guess we'll give people an idea of what it looks like inside the office building, which is where we are. There's Blackie. There's Blackie looking very suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> kind of fat. Hey, Coco. Looks like a tea cozy. And here comes Carol to do the official observation. <laughs> Yes, it's going. <laughs> Here we are. It's a pretty quiet day now. We had a good storm this morning, but right now it's not a whole lot going on. We'll just try and give whoever's watching this an idea of what we've got up here in the office. You're looking at the console now where all our weather instruments are located. Is eight foot or rough? Eight foot's rough, yeah. Anything after six, six, seven, eight, seven, seven, anything after six is rough on the sea condition. It's 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, or at least coming up at 4 o'clock, and this is the time of the day when we send out a complete weather report. Marine weather, aviation weather, and the synoptic coding, which is a bunch of numbers for international use. So Carol's on duty today, she's writing up her op, and in a minute she'll be checking over the various weather instruments and stuff. And let it all down. So we'll just let the camera roll here. Why oh, not? It's boring. 
That's why I chose to have you in the picture instead of me. Okay. What do we got here? There's our wind chart over there. U2A Monroe recorder. Focus on it. The lights kind of funny. Alright, I'll do the temperature. Now she's gonna read the temperature now. Okay, we'll swing over there and watch her read the remote sensing thermometer. Six point five. Zoom in on it a bit. And dry your hand. Four point three. Yeah, it's dried up quite a bit from this morning. You can see some radio equipment on the console. That's the Motorola Triton single sideband uh, marine radio, which we used to use to send all our observations down to Bull Harbor. Bull Harbor is in the northern end of Vancouver Island, and they in turn send it down to Vancouver. But we were having a lot of problems with the weather getting out on time, so now we use our handy dandy BC telephone space tell to get things down south, and we only use the radio for the marine local weathers as you'll hear in a minute. Pretty exciting, eh? Well, I guess while Carol's writing up her observation, we'll scan around the room, take the pressure off her a bit. Let you see what we've got up here. For one thing, this tripod isn't even very straight, so... Yes, we now have television at Cape St. James, which is kind of nice to have. Much music comes in pretty good. Boring! Boring, oh well, let's move over here then. What else? There's our uh, satellite receiving equipment, some of it anyway. Try and focus in on it here. The Norsat uh, satellite receiver on the bottom, and the stereo processor on top for tuning in the FM signals on the various satellites. There's a, currently our station stereo consisting of the Yamaha amplifier on the bottom which does belong to the station and Carl's cassette deck on top so when he leaves we won't have a tape deck. Hopefully Andy will bring his in better. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that important. But one of the speakers up there, the stereo, and we'll back up a bit. Around here. Oh, it's, um, it's, Wayne. it's Wayne on the uh, radio picking up the weathers in a sec. So let's swing back over to where the action is. See what Carol's up to over here. Southwest, 1003.8, rising rapidly. 
Little Bob's contributions to the weather whatever station. He saw it and just knew it was meant for us. That's right. Well, enough of that. Let's see what else we can find here. It only had this camera here. It's an Akai model VC 30 US, whatever that means. Anyway, it only has an optical type viewfinder in it, so I'm holding a Sony Watchman in my hand to get the focusing right. So that's why I uh, only got one hand on the camera. Drive point. Well, I guess Pacific Weather Center Communications down in Vancouver is going to get a phone call in a minute. Give them our latest weather. There's our push button phone sitting over there. Complete with its half second delay. Now Carol's calling up Vancouver so they can put our weather on the circuit, which goes to Toronto and then comes back to all the stations in the network. So it's quite an important call, I guess you could say. Nobody home. Nobody home. These are the guys in Airport Square. Oh, hi, Shirley. It's Carol from Cape St. James again. Okay, the SA. 2 3 scattered. 7 0 scattered. More than 1 5. 0 3 4. 7 2 2 8 3 1. 9 6 2. Starring cumulus. Auto cumulus one. In remarks, cumulo nimbus. Shower, yeah, that's CB. Shower northeast. And pressure rising rapidly. Three zero six three five six four four. I was just gonna sort of show everyone how all the satellite stuff works. Pretty simple. Interesting up here we get channels that people would pay for down in the city, like TSN and much music of course. You have to wait a few seconds for the uh, unit to lock in on the signal. Anyway, much music gets put on stereo because it's an multiplex and low loads of television. Anyway, we'll go back to channel 11. CBC North Pacific. For the hockey game. For the hockey game. Let Carol play with the camera for a while. I'm getting sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, we'll have lots more on this tape later, so let's start, I guess. Carol is playing with the camera. Bruce doesn't know it. He just walks away. Oh, well, there's a good view of the stereo console. Yeah. Yeah, that's our stereo. I'm Dave Hodge. That's their television. And Coco of course, in the TV <laughs> at Cape St. James is something new. We didn't have any television here at all three years ago when we came in here before. Paradise. And now we've got a cat. Let's get a close-up of this fat Garfield here. I have to use here. this other thing. I can't there. stand on my tippy toes high enough. Oh, okay. Well, let's just lower things down here. We'll just let the camera roll and... Okay Let everybody know that this is a very amateurish production. Oh, right. But Thanks. Just because I'm... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's only a raw tape. We're going to do lots of editing on this once I get it home. Coco all focused? This is our cat. This is the real boss up here. I'm not the boss. This thing is Coco. There. She's pretty nice. She's a sweetie. Hi, Coco. Coco. Look at that big stomach hanging. Come here, Coco. Yeah, this cat weighs about uh, 14 pounds. Come here, Coco. Come on, stop being fat. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Carol will show you around the room, but I've already probably seen everything. Somewhere. Well, Bruce probably hasn't showed you the important stuff. Let's see. The plant over there cost a lot of money. That came in from Queen Charlotte City. And we got that airlifted in. And also the plant over here, which is not in the light, but you might be able to see it. Over on that table, oh, that was... We can do something about that. That was airlifted in, too. There you go, Blackie. Blackie Thanks goes. to good old Doug. Oh, you want some light on the plant? <laughs> light on everything. What else is important? Oh, there's the fire alarm control. Big deal. We got oh, this yeah. fancy Where is fire it? alarm system throughout the whole <laughs> island, which we never use. It, it's frustrating. It takes up the whole wall, and you can't. there's yeah, no room to hang anything Edward's on the wall. Edward's fire alarm control. They've got all and, dumb uh, things hanging on the wall, like we got, emergency well, we got a lights. smoke detector, and we got heat detectors in every yeah. room. And, and the units are all wired together. It's, the main unit up here and there's one down the duplex and there's another unit down the boathouse and there's one in the powerhouse. I don't think there's one in the pump house. But anyway, it doesn't do much. We never Oops, have fires here. Just bumped the camera. <laughs> Nobody spokes here at the moment, so all those videotapes you see on the let's go up to those boring okay. videotapes. Whee, off we go. There they are. Oh the focus here. We can't call them boring because they're Carl's. Yeah, they're Carl's. This is Carl's equipment. Nice of him That's to let his us use it. That's at the it. bottom. Everything here is his. That's part of our library and there's the speaker. The speaker and there's be. ones at the top, too. Yeah, there we go. And over here, let's see, where are we going? is our surveillance area. Binoculars. Oh, yeah, let's keep watching <laughs> what's going on out there in the and Pacific. Two telescopes. Yeah, you got it. And then we, it's around to the instrument area again. Oh yeah, we'll do some more detail. There's the wind recorder. Got yeah. a pretty good view of that there. You can see the red lines on it. That's the traces. It's quite quite windy all day, so there's been a lot of activity. Okay. On it. Well, this must be getting quite tedious. Yeah. So we'll stop it for now, and we'll do some more later from a different angle. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Four and a half centimeter litten. Four and a half centimeters, eh? Oh, that's not bad. Oh, what happens to the temperature there? It's zero. Zero. Well, here it's three degrees right now. Well, it's probably warming up because the sun's out. You know, we just had some mixed rain and snow, mostly rain. A little bit of snow mixed in, but of course it didn't stick because it was too wet. Oh, and it's so nice. And you can see the snow up on one of the peaks there. I wonder what's... Let's zoom in here and take a close look. And we're already zoomed in. There we go. That's pretty impressive. Yesterday the storm and today's snow, what next? Yeah, 103 knots yesterday and today's snow on some of the mountains looking north. That's a 900 foot uh, peak over here we're looking at right now. It's 900 feet. So you can see the snow is probably down to about 700 or 800 melting fast. There's a couple of bald eagles flying around earlier. But I can't see them now. Yeah, it's really cleared up behind this uh, weather system. See everything. The swell's really gone down the Pacific side. Yeah, compared to yesterday. See it down there. Yeah, it is wet. There's a good shot of our walkway that gets us from the office area up here down to the duplex where we sleep. And of course the chopper landing pad down there. Welcome to Cape St. James. Looking out on the Hecate side now, all you see is water. That freighter that was out there yesterday isn't there anymore. It's gone. I wonder where he went.
Okay, that's the knife for snow gauge. Tilted. Tilted, yes, so it doesn't rattle in the wind. And then behind you is, of course, the dreaded rain gauge, and you're right in the way. Show everybody the rain gauge. Everyone. We've got about 1.4 in there. Not too much rain in it. A little bit. Oh, yeah, there's some there. How about the sunshine recorder? And there's a sunshine recorder. Actually, it's a Campbell Stokes sunshine recorder to be specific. Pretty simple. Okay, there's a good view of where we work. That's the office building right at the top of the hill. Yesterday we took quite a few shots inside and today I'm outside since the weather is dry. At least it's dry now. There's the south side, the south wall. And this is the west side of the building. You can see where the beacon antenna comes out from the uh, inside of the building there. A couple of insulators and a long antenna. There it is. Stevenson screens where the thermometers are housed. That's the living room window, and there's Carol. Bathroom window, office window, spare bedroom window. Yes, we do get guests here once in a while. Nice view from here. The Carrard Islands, looking south. The swell is not too bad today. Moderate swell coming in from the west, not too bad. Not like it has been. As you can see, we're, we're 300 feet up here, so the waves look much smaller than they really are from this distance.
Okay, in the duplex we go. James, good afternoon, Hillary. We're clear. More than one five. Northeast two two. Gusting three three. Hecate, a three foot moderate. Moderate northeast. Pacific, a two foot chop. Low northwest. One zero two two decimal seven. Rising. Bruce is heading for the powerhouse to do his powerhouse check. Now Bruce is heading this way so he can do a seawater temperature observation. Right, 
where Bruce is standing the other day, we had a real big storm and Carol was standing there and got completely swamped by a big wave. She hung on and got the sea temp for us. Anyways, you guys to leave it in the water for a while so it can get uh, equalized with the water temperature. Pulls up the bucket full of seawater. And he sticks the thermometer in. And he will read the thermometer to determine what the seawater temperature is. This is November the 1st, 1985, when we shall find out what the sea temperature is at Cape St. James shortly. What's the official sea temperature today, 8 .0 Bruce? 8.0 today. 8.0? Yeah, same as yesterday. Schedule.